Thank you for the opportunity to participate in this important webinar. I'm not able to address all the themes in our meeting today, but I'd like to talk about the work of the Sydney Catholic Archdiocesan Anti-Slavery Task Force for those who might be interested in emulating our anti-slavery work. The Anti-Slavery Task Force was established by His Grace, the Most Reverend Anthony Fisher, Archbishop of Sydney in 2017. The purpose of the task force was to eradicate modern slavery and human trafficking from the operations and supply chains of the archdiocese. Our work has since expanded to encompass the church with the establishment of the Australian Catholic Anti-Slavery Network, ACAN. My remarks today will focus on the implementation of the ACAN Modern Slavery Risk Management Program across 40 large Catholic entities, nearly 75% of Catholic activities in Australia, from education, health and aged care, finance and investment, social services and diocese, and the corresponding Catholic Church modern slavery statements about these activities and risk in compliance with the Australian Modern Slavery Act. The world situation of modern slavery is somber and challenging. Before COVID-19, Australia was a destination country for human trafficking for the purpose of labor exploitation often involving excessive recruitment fees that left workers with little or no pay. Now that so many temporary migrant workers are stranded in Australia because of COVID and desperate for work, the deception and labour exploitation is exposed and continues. Modern slavery, forced labour and labour exploitation continue across many sectors of the Australian economy, construction, cleaning, hospitality, horticulture, most often occurring within the formal economy in the operations and supply chains of Australian business. The Global Slavery Index estimates <clears throat> there are 16 million people in our Asia Pacific region who are trapped by a business model that unwittingly relies on labour exploitation. Of that 16 million, 50% are in debt bondage. 60% are exploited outside their country. And therefore the majority of victims are migrant workers. The profits, from human trafficking and modern slavery circulating the globe and the global economy are estimated at US $150 billion, one of the greatest criminal activities in our world. Hence, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, refers to the $150 billion as blood money. This is a priority area with Pope Francis since his election to the papacy. He has called for the world to come together to end slavery in this generation. If the focus continues on prosecutions, it will be impossible to reach the target of UN Sustainable Development Goal 8.7 for the eradication of forced labor, modern slavery and, and human trafficking by 2030. In 2016, following the global leadership of Pope Francis, Australian faith organisations and churches partnered with Australian business leaders to advocate for modern slavery legislation in Australia. Strong adv advocacy for transparency and accountability in supply chains in Australia commenced. In 2018, 
Australia's Modern Slavery Act came into force after significant lobbying of government on behalf of the churches, business and civil society. The act was developed through extensive cons consultations with Australian business community and civil society, including the Catholic Church. Some key points of the Australian Commonwealth legislation are, it applies to at least 3,000 entities, including foreign entities operating in Australia. It applies to an entity with an annual consolidated revenue of at least Australian 100 million. It applies, and this is a world first, to Commonwealth government procurement. That is the Commonwealth's purchase of goods and services. As well, it applies to not-for-profit, that is churches and universities, uh, organizations. Also required, an annual reporting in the form of a modern slavery statement on all modern slavery practices criminalized under the Commonwealth Act. In their statements, entities have to provide information about their structure, operations and supply chains, potential modern slavery risks and actions taken to assess and address these risks and the remediation processes when it becomes apparent that there has been slavery or forced labour in their operations. All statements are published on a government run public central register to ensure that they are easily accessible. Today, it is possible to search the public register and download over 500 modern slavery statements covering 1,050 entities. The Archdiocese of Sydney's Anti-Slavery Task Force is coordinating an internship program with the Australian Catholic University Thomas More Law, Law School students undertaking an analysis of the modern slavery statements and presenting their findings. The exciting news to report is that the register of statements is working. There have been over 100,000 searches made already. This interest has led to an increase in government funding and resources, media reporting and academic research focused on modern slavery in business supply chains and operations, and business investment in modern slavery risk management programs. The Australian Modern Slavery Act also applies to church organisations. In response to the mandatory reporting regulations in the legislation, the Catholic Archdiocese of Sydney established and coordinates the Australian Catholic Anti-Slavery Network, ACAN. The ACAN network is the embodiment of Catholic commitment to eradicating modern slavery risk in Catholic operations and supply chains. The 40 participating Catholic entities are supported by our task force expert staff. The ACAN network is also a forum for Catholic entities to work collaboratively, sharing knowledge and building capacity among designated modern slavery liaison officers. Together, we are taking practical and direct action to address modern slavery risks in operations and supply chains. The scale of all this is significant. ACAN entities have consolidated revenue of over $1 billion. The largest are the hospital networks, aged care homes and schools. At the beginning of the program, we analysed the risk and identified the areas of high risk and high spend for Catholic entities. By working collectively as purchasers of goods and services, the church can work with suppliers 
to improve labour practices in both operations and supply chains. The high risk areas are construction and medical supplies. The Modern Slavery Risk Management Program shared among the 40 Catholic entities involves policy, contract clauses, training for staff and suppliers, 30 different templates, tools, and resources. All of the resources are shared via the ACAN website and monthly webinars amongst the liaison officers of the various entities. We have also launched a new initiative to provide a comprehensive one-stop shop and confidential advice service for the church, community and business to access expertise and social legal support for services for victims. There's more to say, but for now, I thank you for your interest and for this opportunity to speak today. And I, will, I warmly welcome any further co collaborations uh, worldwide and within the church. May Saint Paquita bless us all. Ah. <clears throat>